Hey everybody, Greg here. If you are thinking of getting healthier in the near future, one of the ways you can do that is through live blood cell analysis and it's really cool. And we're here with Kelly Noseworthy who has a couple of practices in the Hamilton area and Burlington. And Kelly, tell me what this is all about. Well, we're, what are gonna, we doing? we're gonna do live blood cell analysis, which you've already talked about. So it's the first time that we're really able to see our health on this kind of level. We used to do this in medical offices, but things changed yes. and now we do this on our own. Okay, so, what, what, so first of all, I need your hand. Uh-huh. We're gonna do a little poke. Eh. We're gonna get all set up. It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. No, 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 no. <laughs> this sucks. Okay, first this of all, sucks. we have to sanitize. Okay. We do this with alcohol, of course. I hate this, man. I go for a needle, I, I have to, they have to tie me down. I'm okay, but this is not that kind of needle, Greg. Don't be freaking everybody out. This is not something to freak out about. Just a little tiny poke. One, two, three, go. Didn't hurt at all. Oh. Right? I didn't feel a thing. Exactly. I thought it was gonna be like, like when you j- <laughs> oh. No, so sample number one. Yeah. She's playing with my blood. Sometimes, sometimes people call us the vampires. And just for fun, I'm going to take another sample of Greg's. This blood. actually doesn't hurt, but in my head I'm going, it should hurt, and it doesn't, so I'm making these faces. No, it doesn't hurt. Okay. So there we go. We're off to the races. That's for you. All right. We're going to cover these up with our little slip cover. Uh-huh. Get some beautiful samples of Greg's blood. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what, awesome. will, what will this show us? Well, here we go. So this is when the show begins. We're going to open up our program. I see a butterfly. I see... <laughs> it's like they're using the psych ward. I see this and then... Greg's blood going on the screen in two seconds here. All right. So we throw it under the microscope. So we'll see blood about cells. five to seven million blood cells. So oh. it really gives us a great picture of what... And this is fabulous, actually. Is it? This is superhero blood. Mm -hmm. Somebody's got a good heart. He's got a good ticker. So this is fantastic. This okay. is what we want to see. The red blood cells flying off the screen. Yeah, got, they are moving so fast. So fast. That is crazy. So you know what? Like, I'm going to focus in on that so people can see. So you're likely full of energy. Um, you're feeling really good, strong, and healthy. And this is kind of indicative of that. So... Uh, we'll wait to the, for those red blood cells to slow break down. Wow, that's amazing. Five to seven million cells we typically see, uh, sometimes more than that, depending on how, how the sample is. But eventually, because it's out of your, blood, uh, your body, obviously it's going to slow right down. So once it slows down, we'll magnify it and we'll go up close and personal and see what's going on. But let me. This is kind of like a bird's eye view. So essentially, what we're looking at is all the red blood cells in here. And then we also see red, white blood cells. That's a white okay, blood cell? The white blood cells, all their superheroes of the body. And then in the bl black area back here, this yeah. is what we call the plasma. So plasma is okay. full of water, sugar, fat, protein, and salt. Mm -hmm. And you've got to think of it like the terrain or the water slide of your body. Okay. So it carries all your red blood cells, your white blood cells. It carries vitamins, minerals, water, oxygen, as well as waste products throughout your whole body. Okay. So it's vital that this terrain, this black area back here, is nice and clean. We want it to be black. We don't want to see other things. Okay. So now that we've slowed right down... Okay, what, what was that thing there? Where? And it looked kind of foggy. This, this is my light. Oh. This is my light. Don't get all excited. Right. I'm like, okay. So we're going to go, we're going to magnify I'm having this. eggs. <laughs> we're going to magnify this uh, by 50 times. Okay. And look at what's going on inside your cells. Okay, so here we go. Right away, we yeah. can see some lemon-shaped cells and some linked cells. Oh, I think you can see some lemon bits. Yeah, no. You like your lemon, do you? No. So these yeah. cells here yeah. are showing us that maybe there's some food combinations that you're having that don't necessarily agree with you, or perhaps lunch isn't breaking down. So protein, for example. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. these that's these lemon-shaped cells that we're seeing. Okay. These guys, do you yeah. remember those from your first appointment, Greg? I do. I do. These guys here. I feel alien having them in my body. Yes. Yeah. So those are Ascarius the most common parasite that we see. These are little eggs inside a red blood cell. Ooh. Here and over here, we see them over here. So Greg was put on a little bit of a protocol to help him get these guys out of his body. Mm -hmm. And they can burrow themselves into our muscles, our tissues and fats, as well as our organs. 
So we just don't, it's normal to have parasites in our body. We don't live in a bubble as human beings. So it's normal that we're gonna see some parasites. We just don't want to have an abundance of them because Greg, they'll make you feel tired. They'll make you feel run down. Uh -huh. um, they'll cause skin issues and stomach and digestive issues. So we just uh -huh. need to pay attention. Mm -hmm. But overall, Greg, look at this. Yes, it's a little clumpy and the cells are layering on top of each other and a little bit. And that's because they're dying? No, it's oh. not because they're dying. It's just because the, the plasma has now slowed down. It may be a little bit sticky. Maybe there's a few little toxins here and there. And that's normal because we're human. We're, we breathe not clean. The air's not the same. Food's not the same. Water's not the same. Right. So obviously, we're going to have some stuff that we have to work on. Yep. Okay? So here... Maybe some mental, physical stress. Have you got some stress going on in your life? Never. Yeah. Never. Who doesn't? Right. We're all good. Yeah, it's a 20-something right? century. <laughs> yeah. So here is, okay, so this that, is called RULO. RULO. And RULO is when the cells start to layer it on top of each other like this. Okay. Which usually sort of says mental or physical stress. You need your own massage. Yeah. Mr. Massage Therapist. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So here. So does that mean physical stress? Right? Possible. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Here, mm -hmm. these are the Ascarius again. Ascarius. Okay, yeah. The, 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 Most the, common parasite that we see. About ninety percent of the people that I so, see in the clinic have Ascarius okay. parasites. So I, they're like. So they're. Those are little eggs. Those are having a little parasite. Little tiny eggs yeah. <laughs> inside your red blood cell. Okay. This is super super cool. This exactly. is a brand new cell emerging right here. Oh, cool. Can I? Can we? Can we see that? Let me. Let me get a. Go nice and that. close. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now, where is it? Yep. So we'll point it out for you right here. This is your brand it's new. It's a cell brand emerging. new cell emerging. Yep. Okay. Hold on. Get the picture, Greg. Where, where is yep. it? Am I on it? Am I on it? You got it right here. Oh, okay. So it's a brand new cell emerging here, and you can see that it's this little green light in the. It's the. It's working on uh, emerging from the spleen. Oh, yeah. I see the light. You see the light. <laughs> cool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Okay, let's keep moving. Okay. So now that we see some black area back here, we're going to raise our light a little bit. Okay. We want to see how well the liver is functioning. And as you can see back here, we don't see, I don't know if you remember, but we, we did have some liver toxins when I first saw you. Yes. But this is nice and clean right now. Okay. We don't see any of what we call spicules, which are well, indicators What are these of, little things floating here? Yeah. So this here is a little tiny parasite there. Oh, really? But see how that's a little bit different from these little tiny little snowflake looking? Yeah. Those are food fragments. It's okay. normal to have a little tiny bit of food breaking down. Okay. Okay, so that's perfectly normal. So can you tell? We can tell? see tell how well you're digesting. Okay. Now, can you tell how long ago I had it or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, so like, at least two to three hours. Two to three hours ago? Yeah. Popcorn. Popcorn? So we've got popcorn digesting in does, here. Yeah. I'm not Good times. To have it. Oh, not supposed to have it. No, but I've been juicing, and so it's because I've been juicing, my stomach is better, so I've been eating popcorn. <laughs> Okay, so just today, just today. But how well hydrated are you? That's the question because these cells here um, look a little bit like clumpy raisins. Okay, so here, here, we don't want our cells to look like shriveled up raisins. Okay, we want them to look nice and round, like grapes. That's showing us that those cells. It's not funny. This well, is, shriveled up raisins is funny. To okay. Die. Okay, but here we go. Where's your head at, Greg? Here, here, <laughs> these are raisins, yeah. and they're showing us that we're lacking hydration. Okay. So it could be nutrients, could be water, oxygen, but these cells need to be plumped up with some, at least drink some water. Okay. Okay. To go, like, no, if I'm drinking juice all day, do I need to drink water? You still need to drink water. Okay, because I don't. Sure. I just, because the juice I have is, like, huge mason jars. Oh, okay. So I think that's it. I don't know. I'm always peeing. It, this so, is good. So I mean, I'm thinking I'm hydrated. I'm nice and nice, clean, clear. filtered oh, what's water. That, one? that looks like a like a star. This is your superhero. Is it? This oh, is let's the see my white superhero. blood cell. Let me see that. Yeah, one. Yeah, go nice and close on that guy. So he's lovely. Oops, it's too much light. Okay, where is he again? He's right here. Oh, there he is. Point him. So this is our superhero. Oh yeah. It's the white blood cell, and he's beautiful. So he's glistening. And the job of the white blood cell is to clean up all the debris that he sees in the plasma. Okay. So like these little bits of yeast here that you're clearing. Yep. Okay, yep. 
So this or, bright thing here that looks like a star, is it like a, yeah. it looks like so a sword? Yeah, so if I focus on that, so yeah. these are little bits of yeast going on in here. Okay. Okay? So because you're juicing and you're clearing, yep. hopefully you're not juicing too much um, fruits. No. Fruits, juicing fruits will increase their sugar content. Yep. So we definitely want to be mindful of that. Yep. Um, but if you're sticking to more vegetables, this is ideal. Yep. So the job, like I said, we'll go back to what the job of the white blood cell is, which is to clean up all the debris. Mm -hmm. So he should come over here and eat up all this yeast, as well as rehydrate these white blood, these red blood cells right here. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And he's hovering over that area. So he's working on that Because he knows area. there's food there. He knows there's something to work on. Okay. Okay? There's food for him. Well, exactly. This is a this is a nicer area, much cleaner. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a little bit of an Ascarius egg there. Okay. Most of the cells here are nice and clean. Again, here is that lemon-shaped cell. Okay. Well, what's that one moving? That's just a regular. Where? Well, Which one? These ones here now. They're moving. Yeah, Why this is, that is perfectly now? fine. Your red yeah. blood cells should be moving. No, I know, but I'm seeing a patch of no movement at all, and then all of a sudden. Yeah. They start so moving. that can happen if the plasma is a little on the slow side. Okay. So if it's sticky. Some cells will get by and some cells won't. Okay. Okay. And I can see some breaking down here and there because yep. that's what red blood cells do. I do know that they much. They do. And of course, if the stickier your plasma, the clumpier it's going so to be. That's a superhero. That's, you is, got it. Is that a dying superhero? Nope. This is. Hold on. Is that a scary? That's Ascarius. Ascarius. Yep. So this is your white blood cell. Okay. Overall, Greg, compared to where you were last time, you are doing well. However, is this is an air bubble. Oh. <laughs> However, I would say that you are dealing with some mental, physical stress, perhaps. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe. Huh? We've got some... Oh, this is cool. So remember the that? liver toxins? Okay. Okay. So the liver is the workhorse of the body, over yeah. 500 functions. Okay. So it's got to work hard, so we got to nurture it. So when it starts to get bunged up, kind of like the furnace filter in your house, yeah. it starts to spit out these toxins, which we call spicules. Okay. And that's all of these little, they kind of look like sticks in a river. Okay. Okay, so think of your stream, like a stream, you've got rocks and sticks in a stream. So think of that, the liver doing that with the plasma. Okay, so all of these guys here, so whatever you do, we need to support the liver. So your dark leafy greens, bitter vegetables, making sure if you're juicing, to, to juice some kale, um, broccoli, all black those cruciferous veg, black kale's ideal for you sure. They say. No, I don't. But I'm sure you're gonna tell me. No. Okay. I hate kale, but I tried black kale. High yeah. antioxidants in black kale. I don't know, but I'm not going back to green. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, more rouleau here okay. and here. That's mental, physical stress, and in the back. Likely some liver toxins back here. I am trying so, to figure out how I'm stressed. Lemon water first. Do you do heavy workouts? I haven't worked out since August. Well, maybe <laughs> your body needs to work out maybe. and release some stress. All right. Sore muscles? Of course. Right. So that's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. What's that? Ah, what this is, is that? Greg. What's that? So are you eating solid food? No. You must be. This is protein, um, and this is a few days old. Oh, it's a few days old? Hold yeah. on, what did I have a few days ago? Because I'm juicing and I don't eat much, uh, and that could be any kind of protein? Uh, likely lentils, beans. Oh, okay, well then. Um, could be chicken. Yes, no, no, I did have some lentil soup last could night. egg. Okay, and so. I, and a few days ago as well, so yeah. This is, this is fairly recent, like within the last couple days. Okay, and what's it, what is it showing us? So it's just showing us that your food is making its way into the blood and it's not staying in the gut. Now the gut is not a sealed environment, um, so some food will certainly get into the blood, which is why we see the snowflakes happening. Okay. These are safe. This kind of thing will cause gas and cause bloating digestive upset. Okay. So you definitely want to make sure that you're chewing your protein foods really well. I'm drinking them. It's soup. Well, no? I don't know. You tell me. This I mean, is a couple days old. Okay. Okay. Chew my soup. Mm -hmm. So we're getting on to the end of our appointment now. Good enough to eat with a fork. <laughs> Could use a spoon. Rulo here. Yeah. Okay. Overall, though, compared to last time, okay. doing you're doing well. We okay. still have mental, physical stress, which you did last time, which we're all human beings. We're going to have some degree of that. I went to Cuba and got rid of it. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so keep on juicing, bottom line. Okay. Um, and then typically we'd like to see you in, you know, seasonally at least. Okay. So we'd see you in the springtime and then, um, you know, see how well you've progressed to your juicing mm -hmm. and uh, any pains that you may have made in the blood. Okay. And then we go from there. Cool. And we are actually offering a juice uh, cleanse through the clinic. Surprise! Which is so exciting. Wow. So if anybody's interested in juicing, they can certainly give us a call at the clinic. No. Your clinic juicing is probably different than what I do. Mm -hmm. um, what do you do when you tell people to juice? What is, is it just yeah. is, is it vegetable juice like I'm doing, or is there a specific recipe? There's a com yep. There's a combination. So we've partnered with Farmer Jacks in Burlington, mm -hmm. and uh, so we're doing it throughout the month of January and then into February. And uh, they get to actually eat a meal for dinner time. So they'll juice in the morning, uh, lunch, and then have a snack. And then at dinner time, they'll get to make themselves a nutrient dense meal. Awesome. Yeah, it's so good. Cool. It's so good. And the juices are a combination of fruits and vegetables. So when it changes every day, it's delivered free to the door. Free to the door? Free to the door. Oh my God. Got to get so in on this one. Get in on it. Get in on it now. <laughs> free to the door. All right. Yeah. Kelly, thank you very much. Thank you, Greg. There you go. Again, any questions? What's the number? What's the website? Yep. Kelly at microcellsciences.com. Awesome. Thank you. There's Kelly, everybody.